Hello everyone, it's been a long break since the last video, but time to roll out another one. In this video, I'll share some thoughts and experiences with an interesting piece of gear, the Remarkable 2, a digital paper tablet. I'm your host Dave, and you're watching the All The Gear No Idea channel. Designed by a Norwegian company based in Oslo, the Remarkable 2 is the second generation of its product. But before we look at the device, why even consider one? There's numerous use cases from, for benefiting from one, but what drove me forwards was the copious notes I make in my professional role. At any one time, I'm probably engaged with about 50 different clients. Using a traditional notebook can be problematic, let me walk you through that. Imagine a customer interaction, such as a video conference, with lots of questions and answers covered. You make the notes and then move on to the next customer. At the end of the day, or when a space to breathe comes along, you start thinking about a previous meeting and want to embellish your notes. There's no room to add notes or adjust existing ones. Sometimes I don't always catch people's names. However, a quick bit of surfing can often reveal the details and spelling, and I'll want to update the notes. Then there's the need to search, whereby you rapidly flick through the pages looking for the meeting in question. My first foray into the digital world was about 10 years ago with a live scribe pen and the special notebooks it came with. It was great in that it recorded audio that was synchronized with the writing. That pen died many years ago, so reverted back to paper. Then in December, I realized that note-taking was becoming a challenge again and took the plunge with the Remarkable 2. The ordering process is simple and there are plenty of opportunities where Remarkable upsell you additional features. I bought the Marker Plus with the built-in eraser at the top and the gray polymer weave folio to hold the Remarkable 2 tablet. I ordered on the 21st of December and it arrived two weeks later on the 4th of January. The unit was shipped directly from China by DHL. The specifications are that it has a 1.2 GHz dual core ARM processor, 8 GB of storage and 1 GB of memory, all powered by a 3000 mAh battery. The overall dimensions are 9.7 inches times 7.4 inches times an incredibly thin 0.2 inches and it weighs about 14 ounces. The display is a 10.3 inch, just slightly less than A5, with a 1872 by 1404 pixel digital e-ink paper. It has support for 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi, and the marker pen supports 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity. I often get asked about how fast it is when writing on the tablet, i.e. is there a lag? The Remarkable 2 offers about a 20 millisecond latency. Just to put this into context, an iPad Pro offers just under 10 milliseconds latency. We'll take a look at the writing speed later. The tablet focuses on one task, creating notes by writing and or drawing. There are no apps or other functionality. You create a file and assign a template to it. You can choose from a variety of templates, including storyboards, lined paper, graph paper, etc. You can change the template at any time for any page in the file. The files can be stored in a hierarchy, allowing you to easily organize your life. And under that, I have all of my customer folders. And under that, I have meeting notes and various artifacts. Importing files is limited to either PDFs or EPUB files. I keep various PDF manuals for gear on the Remarkable. Once the tablet is configured with Wi-Fi, it automatically synchronizes its content with the Remarkable Cloud. From there, you can synchronize it with the Remarkable Companion Windows application and or the mobile application. 
The mobile application is available on both iOS and Android. That means your notes are safely saved and always available across your devices. The e-ink screen is just slightly larger than A5. Let's power on the device. Let's take a look at how easy it is to navigate in the device. Let's create a new notebook and create some words of wisdom. Writing with the pen has the tactile sensation you are writing on paper. If you're looking for an additional stylus, it needs to be EMR compliant. EMR is one of two digitizer technologies known as electromagnetic resonance. I bought a stapler Norris Digital Pencil. It doesn't have an eraser, but I much prefer the feel. Erasing with the Marker Plus looks like this. Erasing with a non-eraser stylus looks like this. Let's play around with different pens and strokes. Finally, let's explore the live view mode, which is still in beta. This is whereby when you write in a notebook, it will be reflected real time in the Remarkable Companion Windows application. It works reasonably well.
I hope you enjoyed this brief description of Remarkable 2. Feel free to ask any questions below and please let me know about your own experiences. Until next time. Hello everyone, it's been a long break since the last video, but time to roll out another one. The auto cue skipped like two sentences. An iPad Pro offers just under tele 10... Digitizer Technologies is one of two. EMR is one of two. Technologies is one. Lib, aren't we? It's just not working. Not working. So what are we up to? Take 36 or something. <sighs> merchandise. And yeah, there's only one, but merchandise. <sighs> okay. We're done. It's a wrap. <laughs>